Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is why does my partner continually walk away during our disagreements? Why is this repetitive behavior happening in your relationship? And what boundaries do you set and adhere to if this keeps happening? How do you rectify this problem? Because it's not healthy to not communicate in this regard. You need to be able to talk to one another and not just dismiss if there's an argument or something that you don't like going on in the relationship. Sometimes what your partner doesn't say speaks volumes because if they're not interjecting and having a constructive conversation with you when something maybe needs work on in your relationship, it could be something that they are emotionally unavailable about. Maybe they're fearful of saying the wrong thing and getting you pissed off even more. There's all sorts of scenarios that go into somebody who avoids any type of conflict. If you're not resolving situations in your partnership, it's not going to better the situation. It's going to be a continual situation that never gets fixed. So every time you have a little bit of an upset, it goes back to that argument that wasn't looked into, wasn't repaired. It's hard not to look at it as just a disrespect towards you when this happens, but sometimes there's more going on. If you're more of a communicative person and your partner's maybe a little bit less involved in, that, in expressing themselves in that way, then you're not going to be at par with how things go forward after you have an argument. They could feel that anything they say is negative. They don't trust what's going to come out of their mouth. So they shut the door on it because they think that if they don't say anything, it's better than escalating the situation. You can't sweep everything under the rug and pretend it's okay. Now, I understand sometimes people do need a few minutes, so they want to walk away and re, you know just get their head on straight and try and figure out a way to resolve it. But if you're going to do that, you need to turn to your partner and say, look, I just need 10 minutes. Give me a few minutes just to collect my thoughts. I'll be back and we can talk about it. Just take those few minutes if you need that, but don't just walk out the door like the argument means nothing because your partner's view viewpoint matters too. You want to be heard in your relationship and they want to be heard. You have to value each other's viewpoints all the time. Even if you don't agree with them, this is why compromise is so important in a relationship. You have to find a way to make it work and understand, okay, well, I'm not going to do this next time and I'm not going to do this. We're going to come together and if we have a similar argument or the same argument, we're going to sit down right then and there and figure it out. If you're the type of person that really has trouble being open and communicative, write down your thoughts, give them to your partner. If you're having sort of conversations that are so repetitive constantly and it's not getting resolved, this is so important to, to put down your thoughts. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just let your partner know what's going on. Tell them how you feel. Also, I always suggest that if you're having repetitive situations that aren't being fixed, talk about them when you're not in the heat of an argument. Talk about them when you're outside for a coffee, outside for a walk. Or, as I just said, write each other a little bit of a... a note and just say, this is how I feel. This is what I would like to happen when this goes on. And then they can do the same. That way you're not yelling in each other's faces. You're being really diplomatic in how you put it on paper. And also if you are having repetitive conversations, you have to be careful how you come across when you start the argument. Delivery is everything because sometimes one person's more sensitive than the other. And you have to pay attention to this when you're in a long-term relationship. This is really, really important. Unfortunately, sometimes people just don't want to deal with conflict. They just shut the door, walk away and expect it just to vanish. Well, that's not going to happen because 
relationships go through so many ups and downs. That's just the way it is. We're not always going to be on par with everything and agree with every little situation that happens within a real relationship. So you have to have boundaries, but you also have to have a very communicative, open relationship with each other. Because if you don't learn how to talk to your partner, they don't feel heard. They don't feel validated with anything that's changing in your relationship. So you both have to, if you have to take some kind of, you know, counseling session or whatever to figure out how to do it, it's worth it. You fell in love for a reason. Let's maintain that. Why do you want to run away from it? I'm sure that didn't happen in the beginning, but it's a full-time job being in a relationship. No one said it was easy. But we have so much time to give our children, our careers, our jobs, but we don't give the same energy to our partnerships. And this is where people find themselves at the end of 20 years saying, what happened? Well, what happened was you stopped listening to each other. You stopped making it a priority to talk together, to find a solution. That's what relationships are. They're not smooth sailing. I think we know that even within the first two years of a relationship, we go through certain things. And it's really important to understand that. No one's going to have a flawless relationship where there's absolutely no arguments and no discussion. Try not to get defensive when you have an argument. Look at it and say, okay, well, what can be fixed here? What can I do to make it better? What can the other person do to make it better because there's two people. It's never just one person's fault when there's an argument. And that's important to remember. So if you're feeling like it's always, you're always being picked on, it's always you, it's not always you. Your partner's just trying to find a solution so that you don't keep having a repetitive argument or repetitive disagreements of any kind. This is what you want to get to the bottom of so that you can rectify things quickly. You're always going to have a fight here and there. It's how you deal with the argument that will sustain the love in your relationship. This is really important because this is what makes a relationship stand the test of time. If you can find a way to resolve things quickly and don't let them go full tilt into another argument because something else comes up because you haven't fixed the first one. It's also really important to pick your battles. If you're a feisty type and you're sort of argumentative all the time, well, maybe there's a reason your partner is walking out because there's nothing they can say because you keep picking a fight with them all the time. And that's not going to help your relationship. So you really want to make sure that you're not just being picky about every little thing and causing a problem every single day because you're going to lose the the romantic part of your relationship because there's nothing for that person to look forward to because every day there's a new argument there's something else so look at that side of the fence too because your partner's walking out for a reason and you're arguing for a reason. So you have to come to terms with what is actually changing in your relationship if this is becoming a repetitive scenario. It's not healthy to have this because at the end of the day, who wants to come home to that same back and forth situation every single day? Nobody. So it's not working for you to pick the argument and it's not working for the person walking away from the argument. So you have to come to a healthy compromise. And if this has been continuing on for a long time, you need to get some outside help. You need professional help to figure out a way that you can find the tools to make this work for both of you. Some people get triggered very early on when an argument happens because they feel they're being attacked. Some people are just really sensitive and they've got this sort of maybe an insecurity about what's been going on in your relationship. So at a time when you're not in the middle of a fight, just ask, is there something going on that we should talk about? Like, has something changed in our partnership? Do you feel differently about us as a couple? Get to the bottom of what the problem is. Be very careful that you're not talking at your partner because they will pull back and not want to respond because they feel, what's the point? What is the point of even an answering when I'm 
not even going to be heard anyway. It's always a great idea to ask your partner to relay back what they heard you say. Because sometimes our delivery might be saying something that they're hearing differently. They might be interpreting it in a different way. So if they repeat it back to you and tell you what they heard, then you can get to the bottom of, okay, maybe I need to change how I'm saying it. And then the other person can say, well, maybe I need to quit being as defensive about what I'm hearing. There's all sorts of things that you can do and compromise here. The bottom line is taking ownership on both sides. This is what's going to correct the problem. So it's better to sit down and try and figure out what it is than to just ignore it. Because it's going to be an argument that keeps coming back over and over and over again. And that will not help your relationship long term. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber City today. Please subscribe. Please leave any comments you have and like the video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Bye-bye.